According to Pollard and Lee, well-being is based off of physical, psychological, cognitive, social and economic factors. It is evident that Max's overall well-being is at risk as he experiences negative aspects in his life such as ADHD, low SES and an abusive home life and bullying. Bullying is negatively affecting Max's social and emotional well-being, making him feel depressed and alone. Social and emotional well-being is categorised as students experiencing positive social and emotional factors, resulting in good mental health and the ability to socialise successfully. Although Max is currently being bullied at school, it can easily transfer to online in the form of cyberbullying. Supporting Max during his time at school is imperative so that he will learn social and emotional skills that will build his resilience. In terms of bullying, restorative practice aims to make the bully aware of their own actions and how they affect others. For the recipient of the bullying, in this scenario it is Max, the teacher must resolve the bullying through creating a meeting between Max and the students bullying him. During this meeting, both parties will be able to voice their opinions about the situation. Max will be able to express how the bullying makes him feel. Restorative justice techniques like this are used to stop the cycle of inappropriate and negative behaviour that can cause harm. In the long term, Max will benefit from having a positive learning environment, as it will reduce bullying through building positive relationships between Max, peers and his teachers. A PLE is made by creating a positive classroom climate and culture, a physical environment that reflects the class needs and through the teacher's instructional practice. Max's teacher can show students how to appropriately behave and treat others through being a good role model. By doing this, students in Max's class, as well as Max, will be able to learn how to communicate effectively with others. Being a positive role model for students will also allow for relationships to build between students and teacher. Overall, the techniques suggested were theoretically informed through research. Although the information has been collected from peer-reviewed journals, they can still give biased data. Rigby states that restorative justice, although it has contemporary appeal, it can impact the bully negatively as the practice revolves around shaming the individual. To address bullying in the school, they must incorporate a whole school approach that aims to promote overall well-being. The Australian Department of Education have suggested the use of STEPS, which is a decision-making framework. It aims to help schools select anti-bullying programs and approaches that are appropriate and evidence-based.